Hello, brothers and sisters. Welcome back to Tectonica. Your eldest Shambi Doo is going to show you how to set up a basic mining and smelting facility that'll help you throughout the whole early game here and getting you through this demo. So we're going to do this by utilizing a 3-4 system. I use three miners to every four smelters. So I'm going to plop these down. So one, two. Oops, a little off. I'm going to put down these guys right here. One, two, and three. I put little markers down so we can do this easy, more easily so I don't have to guess while we go. And I'm going to throw down some two inserters for each one. There's a third input or output here uh, for now. It's not useful because at the speed these go, two is just fine. So we're going to throw down a belt. And if you press R while putting your belts down, you can turn them as you go. We'll put those down. And then, like I said, so for every three miners, I use four smelters. And it becomes as basically as efficient as possible like this. There we go. I'm also going to throw down the inserts. Remember, this one, they're going to grab from the belt. So they need to be pushing the product in. So you want these facing into the smelter. And then I'll do the other ones while we're here. You're going to go on the other side and you'll grab the product and take it out of the smelter. Perfect. And now let's grab our belts here. So if we continue this out, oops, there we go. All the way around here, just like this. I just have these up. So it like, looks like they end at something rather than just in the air. I hope they add some more like cosmetic things to make it so like I could put like a bumper on the end of these conveyor belts or something. So it doesn't just stop at oblivion. You know what I mean? So it'll look a little nicer. So for now, I'm just doing something like this. So now this will mine everything out. It'll plop it onto here. These are going to start grabbing and then we need to have a conveyor system coming out the back side here like this. And I'm going to do something like this. So I'm going to connect these over here. Then I'm going to put these here and then I'm going to make a splitter in the middle so you can combine all these belts. And I've got a little project that I'm doing that'll bring all these down here. And if you want to know what all this is and where it's going to, make sure you hit that like button and make sure you're subscribed as well because the next Let's Play episode is going to be showing you the factory that we're starting down there. But without further ado, we're going to come back over here. So now this is pretty much all set. So you can do one of two things with this. You can do it like I'm doing where I'm going to send this elsewhere for other secret productions. Or you can put down a chest, for instance. I don't have a chest on me for some reason. Let's make a couple of those. So you can put them in a chest to store them, which is what I suggest to do at first until you get the assemblers and you learn how to use them. And then you can feed them out of the chests or you send them like straight to assemblers to start making product. But what we're going to do now is we're going to go in and fuel everything. And I always fuel from the smelters first, just because I want to make sure that these are on before these turn on. So that way I have less of a backup. So we're just going to go in. You just add your plant matter or your or your um, Kindle vein stems. The stems are great, obviously. I love the stems. We'll talk about farming another time. So if you're interested in learning how to farm, make sure you do hit that subscribe button as well. So we can talk about that. It's a pretty interesting feature. And so now you can see everything's working fine. If I look in here, you can see that like pretty much nothing shows up in here because it's mining it efficiently and just immediately taking it out. So two works just fine. So probably when we upgrade these, if that's a possibility, um, we'll maybe utilize a third or maybe even it works as an input to maybe work as like a coolant system if these things overheat eventually and like a later upgrade. So it's just speculation. We'll see what happens there. But you can see as we come down here now that our cranes are working and you'll notice they don't always go to the end, but they'll frequently get down there enough so that if you only have three smelters, you will start to get a backlog and have a line of product. You can see the fourth one grabbed it there. So that fourth one just kind of acts as like the last little bit of overflow to optimize it. If there's overclocking that comes in, what I would end up doing is just overclocking these probably by like 15 ish percent, maybe 30. And that would be enough to um, alleviate having the need for a fourth one. And now you can see the product is going out here. You can see it's heading into my splitter, which like I said, all you do to make that is just have two conjoining things like this. And then you just send it out somewhere else. That's all you do for that. Just in case you're wondering, I know you may you if you've done it by accident or you're trying to look for a splitter. If you're a part of our crew that loves satisfactory, you know, it's an actual item here. It's not yet at least. So that's how we combine everything. And this is how you'll set up your basic factory. So this will get everything done. You can do this with your Cooper as well. 
and you can see it's quite efficient and everything is working very very smoothly so if you found this useful make sure you do hit that like button down below i'd really appreciate it if you want to get back here and find out more fun tectonica facts and tricks make sure you hit that subscribe button as well because we're doing a little let's play series for this demo and we'll also be talking about how to do other activities as we come across them but all right brothers and sisters as usual this has been shabby do and hope the rest of your day is not too shabby <laughs>